You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's something you on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you in the Let's Play episode of Remember the Flowers. So y'all, I've got, uh, excuse me, I'm running the latest version of this, so we should be all up to date when it comes to, uh, versions, so... Oh, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about? I am still waking up. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's -a go. Yeah, right there. Okay. No. Okay. Before I know it, another month passes in the blink of an eye. I still wonder if my perception of time is different from others. Once we got back, I started going to the gym a lot more than just rehabilitation. Karen's been teaching me more than just- oh, so... There we go. Okay. Alright, we're back. Okay. Back to where I was. Well, hmm. How should I put this? It's not like you meant your words. This must be a first. Then I won't. Cyrus, your body isn't suited for long-term combat. I don't know. I think I can hold my own in a fight. You absolutely can, especially with that bizarre ability you told me about. But don't forget, you're over 300 years old. Your body might be getting back on its natural course of life. You're willingly heading into danger, not to mention you're taking supplements that haven't been fully tested yet. Just taking in, just taking in your physical conditions, if you continue down this path... Uh-oh. You probably only have another 30 years to live if you're lucky. Oh. I decided not to tell them that part. I think 350 is a good age to die at. However, I make it a point not to tell my friends about that fact. I don't want them to fret over me any more than they already do. I hope they'll understand. Eventually, I take out a medicine ball before popping it in my mouth. Vita really made them taste like candy, to the point that I have to stop myself from eating more than I should. I can fix my lack of energy on the fly with these, though I still have to be careful. Wow. Wait, Vita made them? I want to try. Sorry, no can do. I asked, asked them about getting your own. But they made these specifically for me. I don't want you to get sick. Please? No. Worth a shot. Pfft. Still, it's strange seeing you this pumped up. Do you really want to join us? I do, yes. In that case, maybe we can spar sometime. Don't insult him, Rang. He's not as weak as he looks. How is that insulting? He only fights people he knows he can win against, scaredy cat. It's not like that, he grumbles. You look a little out of my weight class, to be fair. You have good muscles. That gives that gives Kanto an excuse to flex his guns. Glad you noticed. One of the perks of being a dragon is that it's easy to maintain muscles. Yet you're too scared to get in an actual fight. I have my reasons. I know, I know, just teasing. Hmm. I could go easy on you if you like. Gee, thanks. Wait. So she's serious? You don't like to fight or something? Absolutely not. But you're so... Heh. <laughs> I inspect him top to bottom. Other than Karen, he's probably the beefiest member of the team. Well endowed? Karen snickers. His boobs are big, but not as big as mine. She flexes her arms and chest, causing me to laugh. God, you're both so annoying. And what's the problem? Hmm. It's nothing to be ashamed of, man, seriously. Well, it's just that being a hybrid makes it scary to get hurt. If I got into an accident, I'd be screwed. Even Tensia hasn't made a lot of progress on treating hybrids in serious cases. My blood, specifically, is a mess to work with. I see. That is a valid concern, to be fair. It gets me thinking. Could you use my blood? What? Well, I'm a pristine carrier. Could my blood help you? This is good music. Hmm. That is good. That's... I don't know. That's something to look into, though. Are you sure? Despite the, despite the morbidity of the topic, I'm glad that seems to put his mind at ease a little. I don't see why not. Just don't drain me dry or anything. Maybe I can get you a few bags of my blood for Christmas. What's Christmas? Oh, I'll uh, tell you later. <laughs> I talked to Kai mentally. Kai, what time is it? A quarter past two. Oh, shit. Sorry to cut this short, but I'm supposed to meet Talon at the shooting range. That's what I came to pick you up for, actually. He said he was running late, too. 
I get my shirt back on. Hope Silver doesn't mind me being sweaty. Are you going to shoot with us? Yep, I'm a little rusty myself. Talon said he'd help me learn to snipe. Perfect gun for a scaredy cat. I like to see you handle something like it. Way ahead of you. She uses that as another excuse to flex her good bicep at us, eliciting an eye roll from Kanto. Can we go now? Sure, scaredy cat. Don't you start with that too. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is an awesome group. The sounds of resistance soldiers firing resonates throughout the room. Oh, there you go. This firing range reminds me of a bowling alley in a weird way. There are even tables set up for people to talk casually at. Silver reserved two lanes for us. I've held a gun a few times since I escaped, but it's still a weird feeling. Silver picks up on that right away. Remember, you control whether or not someone gets hurt with a gun. I've seen your knife work. Just think of it as a long-range knife. That's a strange comparison, but I guess I can see where you're coming from. It's just kind of weird. Uh, oxymoronic in a way. What do you mean? I became a doctor to try to save people. Now I'm being trained to kill. Isn't that kind of ironic? You're still saving people, Cyrus. Don't forget that. I guess you're right, but still. According to Silver, the more you kill, the less you feel about it. He's right. I haven't felt that kind of guilt in a long time. I'm not particularly proud of that fact, but we have a job to do. And if you want to be a part of that job, you have to be comfortable pulling the trigger. Silver holds up a pistol at the barrel for me. He's right. No more hesitation. There's too much, there's too much on the line. After mustering up the confidence to do so, I take the gun and then stare down the lane. Each lane is separated by its own wall, along with a shelf acting as a barrier from walking down the lane. There's a target board shaped like a person 50 feet away. Does this have a laser sight like I asked? Thanks to yours truly, yes. To get you started, we got you a more primitive model. Do you recognize it? Uh, it's a gun. That's all I can tell. Get acquainted with it. It's yours. There's a button near the trigger for the laser, so you can turn it on and off at your leisure. Okay. I steal myself and get into a firing position. Not bad. You're still... You're sure you're still a newbie? I've had some coaching. Let's just leave it at that. I turn the laser on. From this far away, the slightest movement may change the trajectory quite a bit. Wait, before you fire, put your earplugs and safety goggles on. Oh, right. I gently put the put the gun down on the shelf and put my protective equipment on. You should be thankful. As a human, you can wear some pretty effective earplugs. But what do you use? Depending on the species, nothing. Sometimes we just stuff cotton balls in our ears and pull them out when we're done. Some people use energy-based guns for that reason. They're not nearly as loud. The downside is that they're usually a lot bigger than a traditional gun. Silver puts on a pair of goggles and laces his ears back before he picks up a decent-sized rifle. Quick bursts are fine, but firing too much and too often could damage your ears. Accommodate for the fact that your eyes aren't the, aren't the same level as your gun. Take a deep breath. Silver pauses before firing exactly one shot down the line. It hits the center of the target's head. And take your target out. That's all there is to it. Uh-huh. Speaking of, I'm gonna head toward the, toward the sniping range. Meet you back home after practice, babe. I'll have to I'll have to take a rain check. Sorry. Oh. With a scoff, Kanto makes his way out of the firing range. I can't help but stare at Silver in confusion. There you go. Yogurt time, I guess. I have a Chobani cookies and cream. Cookies and cream yogurt shake. It's really good. He catches me and he catches me and snaps at me. Don't ask. Wasn't planning on it. I say with exasperation. Last thing I want to do is agitate an armed assassin. Well, I'm gonna start practicing. Mm-hmm. Let me know if you need help. He's not looking at me, but at the exit Canto but at the exit Canto walked through. I take that as my cue to leave him alone. Instead I focus on the reason I came here, pulling a trigger without fear. I stick my earplugs in and my goggles on. Through my prior training, I have at least an inkling of an idea. Not only that, but I have a, but I have a skill most people can't do. Slowing my heart rate down, I enter my time dilation. After enough practice, I can go in and out of it, in and out of it relatively easily and with little setbacks. The only problem is how long I can actually keep it up for. My artificial heart warms up over the duration, so I have to be careful to not cook myself from the inside out. Even so, it's proven more than useful. 
I slowly adjust my hand so I can aim the laser at the target's head. Firing my first shot is quite disorienting. Upon squeezing the trigger, my hand jerks up. I can just barely make, make the bullet out before it hits perfectly. That was only one shot, and now I have to deal with the recoil. In real time, it only lasts a second. For me, it takes ten times longer. Damn. Damn! I spend the rest of the time at the firing range, focusing on getting used to firing and recovering from the recoil. Reloading in this state takes a lot of, takes a lot of effort. Getting used to what was once instantaneous hand-eye coordination is tricky. This is good practice. I'm not sure how much time has really passed, but I eventually get to the point where a single target is not very useful. It's getting kind of repetitive. My chest starts feeling particularly warm, so I take it as a sign to take a break. Coming back to the normal time, normal time takes only a couple of moments and comes with the sensation of all the blood draining from my head. It no longer feels like I'm swimming through air. Ew! I hear Silver snicker next to me. It looks like he was watching me the whole time. I take my earplugs out to greet him. What? You always look funny when you're focused like that. Hey, I'd like to see you try. I wish. It gives good results. He looks down the lane. It landed all my shots on the, on the head, and even landed a few where the heart would be. You still have room to improve on your fire rate, but that accuracy is no joke. Hopefully I can make practical use of it during a fight. I'd offer to spar with you later, but I have a job I need to prep for. Oh? Is that what you turned down Ring's offer? Yeah, well, mostly. Seriously, Silver, what's going on? I don't want to get into it. You're gonna have to eventually. It's heartbreaking to watch from the outside. I've got another assassination mission to go on, and I don't want Ring to worry about me. He keeps bringing up that I shouldn't put myself in needless danger, but he doesn't understand what I have to do. It feels like every time we're alone together, we get into a fight about it. I don't have an enemy to sit through another one right now. With Kanto's fear of pain, I can see where he's coming from. The weird noise. He doesn't want Silver to get hurt either. You love him, right? Silver doesn't respond. I don't think avoiding it will do either of you any good. I know, I know. I just don't know how to get it through his head that this is something I have to do. Is it? Yes. And I don't want you, him, or anyone else telling me otherwise. His fur starts to rise, as expected. I respect him for sticking to his guns, but I can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. Which just makes it all the more painful to watch. I see. There's nothing I can really say to help. I'm sorry. I appreciate the effort. Believe me, I'm not mad at you or him. I just need people to leave me alone sometimes. That's all. I can make my own decisions, too. I can't argue with that. Just know that your actions affect the people around you, okay? I have to get going. I probably won't be home tonight. You might not even see me until that, until after my trip. Anything I can do to help? Yeah, practice your form. An assassin should look intimidating when they kill someone. You'd lucky have noodles for limbs sometimes. I'll try to work on that, then. Appreciate the advice. Come back alive, or I'll make sure you're my first confirmed kill. I look forward to that. I'll see you later. Mm hmm? With that, Silver makes his way out of the facility. I look down at the gun in my hand. Giving an assassin relationship advice a mile underground. I still can't believe where I've ended up in life. Second like, you know, What? Uh, weird drink time. I'm going to be getting some handcrafted ice cream with my mom soon. So that, that'll be nice. Put all my personal belongings in my axe and then head out as well. I have a late afternoon lunch date with a certain tiger. Yeah, boy. It's the middle of the week, so the bar isn't very busy yet. I have Aaron all to myself for the most part while I sit at the bar. He still he still has about three hours left on his shift, so I offer to keep him company before he gets off. This has been a regular occurrence since we got back from our trip. Lately, he'll have a glass of fruit milk ready for me, complemented by a tiny paper umbrella. We've gotten quite comfortable with each other, at least I'd like to think so. Whenever I realize Silver isn't coming home at night, I text Aaron if I can sleep over at his place. The sleep near someone puts my mind at ease, I found out. Aaron's meticulously cleaning some dirty glasses while I sip on my drink. Hey, Axel, can I ask you something? Oh, sure, Cyrus. What's up? Feel free not to answer, but I've been wondering. Why do you keep your eyes closed all the time? Are they sensitive to light or something? Oh! Aaron sets the glass he finished cleaning up on the shelf before turning on, turning to me with a sheepish expression on his face. 
It's kind of an embarrassing story, to be honest. Do you really want to know? That only makes me more curious. Please? Okay, fine. Nope. And the story will have to wait till the next video. Anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!